Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to animate PNG files, especially logos and there are a few ways to do it, I'm gonna show you one by one. Let's get started. First, drag your PNG file to your timeline like me and as you can see that this Huawei logo doesn't really suit the background because you know it's kind of grey and the background is black. And before anything else, let me rescale percentage of the entire logo to make sure it's centered in the middle and let's go to the generators tab in the Final Cut Pro and for me I'm gonna just drag a custom over here and you know cut away the slacks something like that and select the custom block go to this logo over here and change the color I think white suits the entire feeling of this logo and I'm gonna choose the background to be you know entirely white and after that I'm gonna show you the first very technique to you know make this logo you know animated but before the actual animation starts I'm gonna just copy paste another custom by just pressing option and drag this upwards so this automatically creates a duplicate and then I'm going to crop this duplicate a little bit like this Yep, just to you know uh, hide the, the the flowery part of this logo and after that I'm gonna go to the start of the clip and create a keyframe under the compositing and the opacity is at 100% over here make sure you select the clip all the way up instead of the one below because you know the one below is the background okay let's uh, start I'm gonna go a few frames later and bring down the opacity to zero and that's the easiest one to animate a logo yep so it slowly reviews something like that very simple if you want to make the review of this logo a bit faster or slower you can just right click on this clip and show video animation and just drag this keyframe button over here just maybe just shorten this period of time this duration and you review a little bit faster and alternatively you can always just drag it a little bit longer like this and the review will become a little bit slower and that's the first way to animate a logo the second way will be a little bit difficult and tedious so you know just pay attention I'm going to change the letters and how they actually appear but obviously you can use this method and put it all on this you know flowery part of the logo obviously but it takes much much more work I'm gonna you know duplicate a few of this logo the actual logo but before anything else I'm gonna you know go to the effects column find shape mask and drag this shape mask over to the actual logo I'm gonna change all the settings like this to bring down the feather and everything and bring it down reduce the size reduce the width and height of this entire thing to make sure it covers almost just the entire letter H okay that's the first step and then press option drag it upwards like this and just drag this shape mask over to you and just you know repeat these steps until all the letters are showing okay all the letters are done and let's get started obviously I'm not gonna show you the entire process because it's gonna take a while as you can see from this now it's you know, a lot of work but I'm gonna show you a few ways like maybe three ways each letters differently I'm gonna create a keyframe a transform a rotation and you know maybe at 0% and a few frames later I'm gonna go bring it rotate upwards and a few frames later uh, rotate downwards uh, just make sure it's zero percent zero degrees actually yep, and something like that <laughs> and one cool thing about this is you know you just press command and C on this clip and press command shift and V on the next one and make sure you select only the rotation and paste it yep as you can see you know you can have this kind of effect to be copied 
to the next clip. Obviously, for aesthetics reasons, I'm not gonna you know use the entirely the same kind of you know upwards and downwards movement. I'm gonna change the time a little bit differently. You know, always right click and show video animation, something like that, and maybe yeah, yep. So, so there's a, like a slight delay. I'm gonna show you a different one. Uh, instead of movement, I'm gonna show you a review from bottom to up. So let's go to the crop of the uh, inspector and select, you know, top and create a keyframe and drag it all over to like this and a few frames later and drag it over to zero and yeah it's too fast so let's change the video animation to a little bit you know after yeah something like that so it's like a review from bottom to up obviously you can change to you know, right to left left to right up to bottom yeah very simple very easy to do all right for the fourth letter i'm gonna show you from you know from above and drop it to the ground and yeah maybe a bounce a little bit but you know bouncing this letter is really a lot of work and let's get started so i'm gonna go all the way to the front again and create a keyframe at rotation and you know change this rotation a little bit uh, sideways like this change position uh, y and x axis i'm gonna move this a little bit upwards like that and a few frames a very short few frames later i'm gonna drag this red like, position and make it zero and zero so so it's like a very fast drop and then here comes the bouncing part all right right click on this and show video animation as always and one frame later i'm gonna bring this w upwards like that and maybe change this rotation the other side a little bit like this and one frame later bring this down again and bring this uh, <laughs> back to say four oh, no it's negative four and one frame later yeah just to stop entirely and one frame later everything back to normal with no rotation let's try yeah it's a little bit too fast so maybe i'm gonna space this entire thing out yeah that's the kind of effect i want <laughs> and that's the last effect of the first part of this tutorial and the end result is something like this and as you can see that i've actually created a compound clip to slow down the entire effect duration so it won't be so sudden and it looks better and let's play it yep something like that and i'm sure it's gonna look much better with uh, right you know bgm or sound effect which i don't really have and yep maybe you can find it next time and add it in okay the last part of this video is actually very very simple as compared to the previous part you just go to the effects column and type a few effects for example the first one is bad tv the second one will be prism it's like a standard coupling of two effects in Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna go to the inspector and change this to TV statics and secondly go to prism and you know change the amount back to zero and change the amount of bad TV to zero and create a keyframe for both of them and even the angle you can create a keyframe for prism and go to the middle part of this thing and create a keyframe yep everything just create another keyframe a few frames later uh, boost the amount to like this 
yeah and a few frames later change the amount of prism to be like that and a few frames later uh, change the angle something like that yep yeah. and okay around this moment I want to make everything back to normal so I'm gonna create a keyframe over here and just make everything zero and let's try yep that's the last technique I want to show you guys and it's so so easy do not forget to add in sound effects yep and that's all you need to do for your animations hope you guys enjoyed this video today and yeah just remember to subscribe and like this video thank you so much and bye bye